Hey guys, Vincent here. This is vlog number one. Now, the whole reason I'm doing this is because I often get questions and comments on my videos. You know, how do you do this? How do you do that? What is this for? What is that for? And I really want to give you thorough answers and, and detailed descriptions and even demonstrations. So I'm using YouTube as a platform to do that. So with that being said, question number one. Hey, why do you have a drumstick folder on your hi-hat? Is it there for sound purposes or what is it doing there? Okay, believe it or not, I get this question more often than anything else. To be honest, I don't know why I do it. I mean, I've been doing it for as long as I can remember. The first time I sat down at a drum kit with my own pair of sticks, I, I took the sleeve off and I didn't want to throw it on the ground or in my stick bag, so... I just put it there I, and now it's just it's just habit I don't know it's I don't know it, maybe it's a superstitious thing I, I do it every time I sit down at the kit it's uh, pretty much it there's no no sound purpose it doesn't serve any sort of thing but I mean maybe I'll make it my trademark who knows number two legitimate question now how do you subdivide a sextuplet I'm not very experienced with more advanced stuff like that. Actually, I replied to this on Instagram, but I wanted to come back to it to give a deeper answer. Uh, so just take a sextuplet and a downbeat after. The easiest way I've always done it is to just use any word that has six syllables. Mesopotamia, autobiography, encyclopedia. So let's take that same sextuplet with the downbeat and plug in those words. Mesopotamia, uh, autobiography, uh, encyclopedia, uh. It may sound a little weird, uh, but try it out and see if it works. I mean, yeah, those words have absolutely nothing to do with music, but sometimes taking something that has nothing to do with, with this art and applying it and seeing how it fits, somewhere in your brain it just clicks. I mean, in my experience, this has worked for me. Uh, that's my advice. Try it out. Question three. Do you get that same feeling where as soon as you add the constant hi-hat, it feels like your hands and right leg immediately regress like three years of skill? Yes. yes. Uh, this, this is a, a skill that, you know, a lot of people want um, just to add another color, you know, in, in, in the grooves and just to when a song is progressing and you're reaching the climax, sometimes it's, 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 it's necessary to put that hi-hat in, whether it's quarter notes throughout or eighth notes throughout. And it's a little more difficult, I think, particularly with eighth notes. Uh, so let's just take a simple groove. We'll try without the eighth notes, and then we'll put the eighth notes in. First, the groove. Let's try to add the eighth notes in this time. Pretty easy at a slow tempo, especially since I have my right my right hand and my left foot doing the same thing. But picking up the tempo. May, may be an issue. Let's give it a try. Let's try it again, but this time I'm going to be a little more free with my right hand, but still trying to keep that left foot constant. So let's review. 
So we said that the constant hi-hat field can be a little bit of an issue. I've given you an example, and now I want to give you an answer. I feel that there are two mental approaches to the kit. And I'll, give, I'll get into that more later with another YouTube video. But I just want to give you a brief description of each so you can apply that to this specific problem. Approach number one is called the burger approach. Each part of a burger is a different limb. So patty, bun, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, the kick drum is the bottom bun, the snares, the patty, your right hand are, are your toppings. And, your, and this hi-hat in this situation is the top bun. So in the burger approach, once you get one part of the burger down, you're not thinking about it anymore. It's on autopilot. So by the time you get to this hi-hat, it's the only thing that you need to think about. The rest of this is on autopilot. My brain is focusing on this. That's one way to try it. Approach number two is called the four quadrant approach. So remember back in school, the Cartesian plane with the X and Y axis and the four quadrants. You do that same thing to your brain. You split your brain into four quadrants. Each quadrant is in charge of a respective limb. So with the four quadrant approach, you're not, get, you're not on autopilot. You're thinking about all of these parts fitting together as a whole simultaneously with each part of your brain. So with the burger approach, if you're more of a person who just wants to get the parts down and stack them on top of each other and go, this is the, that's the approach you could use for this issue. If you're more of a mathematical person and you like seeing how things fit together, how the puzzle comes together, then the four quadrant approach may be a better way for you to go for this specific issue. You know, in conclusion with this question, it, you can either think about this hi-hat and let the rest of this just kind of do its thing, let the muscle memory take over, or you can figure out where is my hi-hat the same as a, another part of my groove? Where is my hi-hat fitting in the spaces with this groove and you can think about it that way so try those two work it out let me know how it works for you question number four uh, more of a suggestion you should make a video on how to tune the snare or toms now I'm sure you heard the phrase there's more than one way to skin a cat uh, the same thing applies to drums and tuning uh, but in my experience, I've always tuned in a star pattern. Uh, so just starting at one lug, going to the adjacent, going to the next lug, to the adjacent, next lug, adjacent, so on and so forth, all the way around the drum. Uh, I've already taken the liberty of loosening all of these. Everything's loose now on the top head. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is finger tighten all the lugs, of course, adjacent from each other. You want to finger tighten all the lugs, so I'm going to do that really quickly. So everything's finger tight now. Uh, then next, like I said, you just want to tune in the start pattern. I usually go up, you know, a half a turn all the way around, check it, go up another half turn, check it again, and then you can just tweak, you know, kind of wherever you feel you know, more tension on the head needs to be. So I'll just go ahead and crank these bad boy a half turn all the way around. So still sounds pretty loose. I'm just gonna give it another half turn. Ooh, getting there. Let's keep going. Sound okay. Uh, a lot of people also like to go around the drum and see if these pit try to make these pitches at each lug the same. Now you can you can use a drum dial or you know any any a pitch pipe or or a tuner, anything to see if this pitch, these pitches are good. Uh, the reason they do that is because they want the same amount of tension at every point of the drum. Now that's a good practice, but for, for, uh, purposes of the video, I'm just going to try to get it pretty close and that'll be that.
gave it one last good crank there at the end for good luck. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Also, keep in mind, I don't have this mic that I haven't done any EQing, uh, just a raw sound. Uh, but if you like a crispy, you know, full-bodied snare sound, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, just, just keep in mind, star pattern. Uh, sometimes you may want to check the, t the tuning all the way around. And then just go for the sound that you want. That's that. So yeah, that's a wrap for vlog number one. Uh, I love doing this. Um, it's been a blast answering these questions and making this video. So, I mean, please continue to ask questions. Continue to comment on the videos. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, anything. I mean, I'm here to help you. Uh, it's not just about, you know, playing beats and, and, and putting up videos and getting views. I mean, it's, it's about helping you guys. I mean, it's about education. Uh, so, let's work together. Uh, and like always, I'm Vincent McMurtry. I'll see you next time. Have fun. Play drums.